Hello, today's topic is a bit different and I want to show you in fact my Raspberry Pi configuration. You should have a good configuration or let's say as best as possible, especially when you're dealing with real-time systems with real-time protocols like we do, we use EtherCAT which is additionally synchronized. So you need as best performance in terms of raw power, speed of execution and mainly jitter. I will show you what I am using here. So first thing, I'm using Raspberry Pi 4. There are several benefits in comparison to Raspberry Pi 3. First of all, raw CPU power is much higher, is much faster. Then second point, Ethernet port is completely separated from USB, which is great. So a little bit more on synchronization part and multiple Ethernet capabilities. Now, in addition, what you see here is that I am using USB from Codesys to store the licenses. But also, I would say more important is that you can see additional cooling plus certain heatsink between this semi-transparent plastic. Second thing is that you can use as best as possible SD card to store your project, especially if you do not plan to use USB key from Codesys. You can lose your license, especially if you are running long-term tests. At this, I am using still one of the commercial stuff, SanDisk Max Endurance SD card. However, I would recommend to go even further and ask for industrial base SD card. Next thing is that I'm running Raspberry Pi OS and in particular light version. You don't need any heavy stuff on your Raspberry Pi. I'm using integrated Wi-Fi to access this Raspberry Pi. So to transfer projects from Codesys to a Raspberry and dedicated Ethernet port is solely and exclusively for EtherCAT. Now here we start a bit deeper and this part is maybe not needed. Frankly, I don't see any benefit in my Raspberry Pi, but if you run anything on your Raspberry, except codices, this can come in handy. And this is about increasing the niceness of your codices control. This will put a little bit higher priority when executing and it can have an influence in the jitter when your task is as executed. So you have to open Codesys control and add this part after Codesys control is already started. Now one of the main thing is to fix your frequency of Raspberry Pi. Base frequency or maximum allowed by the manufacturer is 1.5 gigahertz. Here you can see that I'm running at 2 gigahertz and mainly because of the cooling that I applied. After that, I would recommend that you measure the temperature while executing some IEC code just to see what you are doing. In our projects or all the projects that you can download from link in the description below, I measured the temperature of Raspberry and it's not going over 35 or 36 degrees it's measured in uh, room temperature ambient. Next thing is, and also highly recommended, is to use multi-core Raspberry Pi PLC. Here I see the huge difference between standard SL and MC. There is like at least 20 to 30% increase of performance. You can dedicate a single core to do, for example, EtherCAT, and then a another core to do your visualization. It's great thing to distribute the load on your Raspberry Pi. Downside is that you cannot run this MC control inside some kind of a demo mode, like a standard control. It will run for at least two hours. So you need to purchase it. And then I would add it to Codesys key, just because it's much simpler to transfer if something happens, for example, to a Raspberry Pi or even if you want certain licenses to transfer on a different platforms, for example, to a PC platform base, Codesys Control PLC or anything else. 
So those were fast and simple tips and tricks that you do not need a lot to get really high performance out of your Raspberry in terms of Codices PLC and real time. So you will not need to install any kind of real time patch or something like that, which can be quite complicated. You will need also a Linux system to do that. And with these settings that I showed you, you will already have fairly nice and good and stable system to run your tests. So that's it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.